Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Kerja Data Online. In this video, I'm going to share with you an idea about enabling your SSH. So, um, the reason for enabling your SSH is basically to enable you to control your Raspberry Pi 0W or Raspberry Pi 02W remotely using your another laptop. So, the first step is basically go to your terminal you can check whether it is already enabled or not enabled by typing this command sudo resp-config so this is the idea about looking into your system then you can check your system by um, go for the interface proceed with the ssh and then we are going to enable the ssh Okay, so after uh, click those function and save it as follows, then your um, SSH is already enabled. So the reason of enabling this SSH, as I mentioned to you before, is to help you to control your Raspberry Pi remotely using your PC. So let us try to do that. So the first one I have here, is my computer so let me just um, put the usb dongle to control it remotely okay so if you can see over here i can control my desktop and then at the back over there is my raspberry pi 0 w so i'm going to open the vnc viewer so the vnc viewer enable my good self to determine what is the um, location and after I'm typing the related IP address for my Raspberry Pi Zero, then I can remotely control this Raspberry Pi Zero. So to obtain those IP address, there are a few way to do that. Uh, the simpler way to do it is basically navigate to your cursor, okay? Navigate your cursor and then proceed to this icon which is the wireless icon so you will see over there in this example of my setup or my connection is 192.168.0.128 so that is the address uh, that we can communicate with our raspberry pi zero so let us try it and then uh, we shall see what will happen after uh, we type those values so 192.168.192 Okay, let me change 192.168.0.128 Then going to click the enter And then what will happen is basically the connection was refused by the computer uh, This is because we are also uh, disabled the use of the VNC uh, From our um, end in the Raspberry Pi So to enable it basically you can just go for the vnc setup okay to check back your configuration just type sudo recipe config and then we are going to assess our interface option but in this particular example i'm going to assess the p3 which is we call it as the vnc so i'm going to enable the vnc server so that the vnc server um okay and then it is um, waiting to be pair or waiting to be connected via um, apps okay so i'm just going to say yes and then um, we will install those uh, files and after this uh, we are going to able to access our raspberry pi zero remotely uh, from our desktop so let us wait for a while until the process of uh, this setup is finished so let me just speed up a little bit Okay, so now the VNC server is enabled, then we can go for the finish icon over there. So just type finish and it's worth noting to reboot our system. So just go to reboot. So after rebooting, then uh, we shall hope that um, the Raspberry Pi are going to be reopened again. 
Okay, it's done rebooting and then if you can see the VNC server is enabled like the um, picture that being displayed uh, for a few seconds just now it is actually a successful message indicate that your VNC server is installed your SSH is enabled and then you can um, remotely control your Raspberry Pi from your computer or desktop so to do that is basically I'm going to minimize this function so let me just uh, make the GUI um, complete okay so I'm going to click OK only on this area and then as you know the IP address is um, available after you hovering your mouse or your cursor over there and then you can understand already what kind of um, IP are going to be exist and then you are going to use the VNC inside your PC so in this case I'm going to use this VNC viewer that already been installed before and I'm going to type the address that correspond to my Raspberry Pi which is 192.168.0.128 and after that I'm going to hit the enter button and it's going to um, indicate the VNC server identity check file it's okay it's normal because it's a validation process and I'm going to insert my username which is in this case I'm just making it as default which is the username is pi and the password will be the raspberry so after that if you can see over here we are successfully um, mirror our raspberry pi from our um, from our laptop so I'm I'm going to um, close or hiding the videos at the background over there so now I'm I'm actually um, assessing my Raspberry Pi using my computer over the internet to control my uh, Raspberry Pi function okay I'm just going to go to terminal over here and whatever that I did um, in this VNC area it is actually also mirrored and is actually happening in our uh, Raspberry Pi site. So to confirm that thing, so let me just open up a little bit over here. So you can see um, on the top right over there is our um, feed from the video produced by the HDMI to Raspberry Pi. And then um, inside the main screen over here is basically our VNC setup where we are actually remotely control our Raspberry Pi. So let me just uh, put something like this raspi-config just to give you an idea what kind of uh, details that you are able to do. So basically you can um, sort of um, understand everything in your setup. You are in control for all of your uh, devices over here so let me just go to the wireless LAN so they have some SSID I'm just going to cancel it okay and then we can go for the uh, recipe config tools okay so it's actually uh, available in your PC where whatever that you uh, do inside your PC is actually reflect to the uh, Raspberry Pi function in in their real setup if you are blindly see it also no problem okay so i hope that this uh, a very depth and detailed um, explanations can give you an insight or overview how you can uh, enable the ssh enable the vnc and then uh, remotely control your raspberry pi using the vnc viewer Okay, in the uh, next uh, video, perhaps we can also explore how you can um, install a certain, certain apps inside your Raspberry Pi, uh, specifically for your uh, coding or learning purposes, including the uh, office-related works. Okay, so I end the video now. Hopefully, this video is very useful to all of you. If you got any questions, please just uh, do comment in the uh, comment sections of this video please do also help me to like this video if you think that this video is okay um, or you can also make suggestion and uh, share it to your friend and family and the most important thing is please support me through 
um, subscribe this channel and hit those notification bell so any future updates uh, will be notified to you as soon as possible okay with that thank you very much for watching and until next time see you again bye bye